Hi, are you okay? So we're keeping on going with this, just making sure it was working then, sorry. Um, so we've got example six. So it says a pasta sauce is sold in jars containing a stated mass of 500 grams. The jars are filled with the, with the machine, uh, filled by the machine. The actual mass is normally distributed with a mean of 505 and a standard of 10. Find the probability that a jar contains less than the stated mass. Right then, so the normally distributed bit is what we want for the distribution. So x follows a normal 505 comma 10 squared. And I want the probability that it contains less than the stated mass, which is 500. So I want the probability that x is less than 500. So in terms of my picture, my mean is 505, and I want less than 500. So let's see what it is. Bring it up on the calculator. Do it on the calculator. Um, that's gone down, don't it? Hang on. So exit. So my lower is going to be minus 10,000. My upper is 500. Sigma, we've said, is 10. And mu is 505. Just making sure I'm not running out of time. So minus 10,000. Uh, 500. Sigma is 10. 505. Have a look at a picture. There we go. 0 0.3085, I think. Yeah. So 0 0.3085. There. So then it says, in a box of 30 jars, find the expected number. Now, you kind of know expected numbers. It's just the number of times it happens times by the probability. But it kind of moves us over this to a, a binomial for an expected number. It's like if you were going to like a, a coin and you were flipping it a hundred times. It's like how many times would you expect to get a tail? And it's kind of binomial success and failure. So I'm kind of switching now to a binomial, which would be x follows a binomial. n is 30. And my probability of success is this up here. So I'm actually nicking that probability. Now your expected number is np. So that would be 30 times by 0 0.3085. And if you think about it, that's what you did with that idea of flipping a coin 100 times. And how many times do you get a, a tail? It's just the number of times times by the probability. So if I do 30 times by 0 0.309, uh, I need my calculator. So menu one, 30 times 0 0.3085 gives me 9.255 times. Yeah. Is it a question for you next? It's a question for you. <coughs> oh, no, so I'll release it to show this so you can see it. You hear the band upstairs practicing ready for charity now. So I'm wander past the room. It's like a stuck band. There we go. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Then we've got some questions to do. I'm not sure if that's actually the end of the lesson. It might well be. Uh, right, I'll see you soon. Bye.